Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bada habata fillah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh A question was asked about Tawbah, repentance from major shirk or kufr That which takes you out of the fold of Islam So first and foremost with regards to this mas'ala As the scholars of Islam have talked about this in detail uh, in their books, especially classical books of fiqh and, uh, and, and and other than that. And the first issue is uh, affirming whether you really fell into the major shirk or kufr, you know. So a danger that we find from a lot of the youth is they make tech video themselves these days. That so many people are dealing with OCD and other issues. This is not in direct, uh, directing this towards a questioner, but I want to just highlight something that it seems to me that there is a, a greater spread of, of, of waswas from the shaitan, but also people who are challenged with some of those mental health issues. And so you get a lot of questions and you see a lot of questions to the scholars and the du'at that people are making takfir to themselves. People don't know if they're Muslim yes, yesterday if they were Muslim and today if they're Muslim. You know, so much doubt. And so, first, with regards to this issue is determining whether you really actually did something that took you out of the fold of Islam. Secondly, if it is affirmed that what you did or what you said or, or something similar to this, that it took you out of the fold of Islam. Then the scholars mention, some of the scholars say that uh, a person in this situation, uh, of, they can reaffirm their shahada, their testimony of faith, or they should, and they also should make ghusl. Another group say, for example, Imam bin Baz, I was reading his fatawa, and he was talking about these nuances the uh, differences the classical scholars had with regards to this. And his view was that it is mustahab, it's recommended for that person who has affirmed that they have left the fold of Islam, that they should make uh, ghusl. The second issue I want to highlight is that if it is other than that, you know, if it's just based on your doubts and so forth, then your toba, your repentance is just as any other repentance when you're seeking forgiveness for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you're seeking toba for any sin, okay? Uh, and the Prophet ﷺ showed us a, a dua, which is for the expiation of shirk, especially the minor shirk, but shirk in general, that shirk you may have done knowingly or unknowingly. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and ushrika bika wa ana a'lamu wa staghfiru kalimina a'lamu. O Allah, I seek uh, forgiveness from you uh, for anything, any shirk that I did, any associating partners with you that I did knowingly and unknowingly, okay? So this is covering the basis with regards to the concept of shirk, polytheism. And in general, for one's toba, repentance to be accepted by Allah, and, and we know Allah is al-ghafur rahim the most beneficent, the most... Uh, Offer giving most merciful subhanahu wa ta'ala. So never give up with regards to your sins. That a person should leave the sin, you know, remove themselves from that environment, or what have you, stopping the sin. They should be determined, they should have the uh, azima that they will not return back to that sin. So they should be determined to never return to that sin. And thirdly, is a nedam that they should feel sorrow for uh, the sin that they did. So if it was missing prayer or if it was getting drunk, getting high, whatever from the various types of sins, whether that's the shirk, uh, in, uh, the shirk in the minor kufr or any other sins, that though that is the way to repent from that. And if it is something that has made someone leave the fold of Islam, for sure, then the person reaffirms their shahada and from the sunnah, or it is mustahab, it is recommended to make ghusl, but not an obligation. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.